Hello YouTube, welcome back to another part in Building Kashyyyk. This is part 10 and we are nearing the finale of my Lego mock. I'm really excited. So uh, today we get to work on the second droid cut I've been building. Um, I'm sorry, I did not take one of your considerations um, in the comment section below. You said to keep the old legs from the other ones. I did not do that. Mainly because I thought it rolled up better with the other legs. Anyways, today we also finally fixed that little area in the back of the clone base, which has been bothering me so much. You guys will see it in the video. So, let's get started. Now, for the buckets I did organize, I completely emptied this bucket full of Legos, this bucket, and that bucket. So, those are organized, and now lie inside the organized boxes which are over here. There we go. These are organized by color so far. Uh, I want to get into more of a park organization but I will need to have smaller containers. So far I got green, white, blue, yellow, red and orange, brown and purple. I don't know why I put brown with purple but uh, any hero factory or bionicle parts and then I got black and gray and all those different colors so those take up a lot of space so I gave them the big buckets oh and I got one other black and gray box right there so now that I finished my organizing I'm gonna get started with some things on my mock such as building the droidica uh, correcting this thing back here so far as I know but right now I'm gonna switch it around and turn it around for you hey guys so I've gathered quite a bit of parts down here um, a lot of three ladders it looks like a lot to me okay. uh, maybe just in case I want to do railing up on the platform so uh, let's go ahead and get started with fixing this back There we go, how does that look? Does it look better? I don't know, give me, give me your thoughts down below. I'm going to try to give this a little more decoration up top. Okay, how does that look? I think I like this girl piece here, adds a little bit of detail to it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm putting a control panel. As you can see there aren't... Yep, focus. Control panel, you know what it is. Okay, there's a little studs right here for this, which I'm going to put on the control panel with a little lever just for a uh, control of the elevator okay so I collected a few pieces to make some turrets that can attach to the handrails I'm gonna show you how I made these how does that look the uh, little mini turrets on the side of the building. There they are. There's one, actually, not two. There will be another, maybe. I think I like it, although I think it stands a little bit too tall. If you were to put a minifigure behind it, we'll see how that looks. It's a bit tall. It's definitely over his head. So I think I need to find a way to bring it a little shorter. Okay, I found a better place for it. And that is right in here. You can use it as an auto turret. I believe that would probably work it one of the best ways. Simply to put it up, you just slide it in here, of course. This. Yeah. 
You can fold up and face the inside so no gun shows. And I will definitely do the same on this side, mainly because if I don't, why would there be one over here, even if there's no people fighting over there? Because this is where all the map is. Okay, so here we are with the new turrets. There's that one, folded up on the inside. Decided to put them on the inside instead of the rails, and that one is actually out. So that one is right now in firing mode. So it could easily hit any intruder coming through the forest or whatever. I think that's a really good idea. Um, yeah. And then it, it leaves room right here for people with their own weapons to come and shoot. Okay, so it's taken me a very long time just to acquire the parts for the Droidica, but I've made a decision on which, which Droidica I will be duplicating, and it will be this one, and it has taken me literally forever to find these parts. Anyways, I found them. I'm going to do a speed build of these to show you how it all works together, and so far I'm going to see what you need. So you're going to need one of these slope, double-sided slope pieces, one of these, um, two of these, uh, pieces, two binocular looking pieces, um, also you will need two of these, uh, one by one clip pieces, it doesn't matter which color, right now they are different colors, but they look okay in this scheme of things, um, one brown thing like this, I guess. I don't really know <laughs> the part names, so it sounds like I'm an idiot. You'll need four of these black battle droid arm things. Uh, yeah. You will also need three spike claw type things. One battle droid body, doesn't matter which color. Um, one circular stud. Two of these gun type weapon things. Uh, one of these, one of these, a very short stick, a one by one with one in the middle, two of those, a little handle thing, a stud with a hole in the center, and a flat plate, uh, brown. There are the parts, now let's assemble them. There we go. The second Droidica has been made, and for the sake of making the second Droida, Droidica, sorry, I decided to assemble the Separatist Army so you guys can see it in full operation. This is what I have. Eight Super Battle Droids, five Normal Battle Droids, a Pilot Droid, two STAPs, a normal battle droid on an STAP, which you could include in this little squad. And then two droidicas. So that's what I have so far. I hope to continue collecting these because I really enjoy having some droids to combat my clones. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family if this is your type of thing. Uh, also, next week is no longer Asphalt Extreme. As you may know, I quit that. So, I will be continuing in this series until it is finished, and then the Tale of Two Jedi will start up. The LEGO Stop Motion series. I'm really excited for that. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.